What is going on guys? So behind me we have an insane build and I wanted to show you guys this even though it's not Ford related um, but it is awesome. So behind me we have a Range Rover Land Rover with a 5.3 LS swap twin turbo and I'm gonna let Nick tell you more about it because he built this thing himself and it is absolutely insane. So this is Nick. Hi, I'm Nick at Levels Performance. This is my uh, 08 Range Rover Sport. Um, I started this build about two years ago and uh, it's kind of gone a little farther than I initially intended, but uh, the outcome has, has made me quite happy, so I'm not regretting anything. Uh, it's a twin turbo 5.3 that I pulled out of a junkyard Silverado. Uh, I rebuilt a motor myself and um, kind of taught myself everything. This is the second build I've done, so I'm no expert, but uh, it gets me down the road pretty good. and. Hopefully I can run a number in it soon. Looking at the engine bay, I know you just saw some glamour shots of this thing, but this engine doesn't belong in here. No, no, no. And from... I know the Range Rover enthusiasts are upset at oh, yeah. you. <laughs> they have their panties in a wad, you could say. Uh, yeah. like I've been deleted from tons of groups, and not even because I start problems, it's just they don't like to see what I've done. This is the first one in the world, and uh, I don't know. They think I'm you know, tarnishing their brand or something, but I just think it works better, so that's all I need from it. So this thing is insane. All this worked into here. You have an air to water intercooler, ice tank in the truck, yep. two big turf skis, the LS in there. You have a auto trans? Yeah, it's a rebuilt 4L80E. Uh, it's the heavier duty unit. If the 4L60 would be a waste of time, so I just went straight for the heavy duty 4L80 and uh, had it built right down the road from here, actually, at a, a shop behind uh, FTI. And so the guy gave me a good deal on a rebuild, and the thing's been ripping ever since. Cool. So you have a video pretty much talking about everything on this, so I will link that. It's right up there. We're gonna take this for a rip, and let's see the inside, because, well, first of all, the outside, as you can see, is you're pretty much a sleeper. He yeah. has a grill for the front. Put the hood down. The only way you know that this is messed with is by your exhaust down here, yeah. but when it's off, you really don't notice. Yeah, it's pretty unassuming, um, but, you know, it'll blow your hair off your head when you drive by, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you wanted to make this quiet, you could put a million mufflers and resonators and put it out the back. Yeah. You would never know. I would never do that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. <laughs> but so back here, you got ice tank, some weight taken out, and up front, it looks pretty much stock, right? Yeah, there's uh, just an iPad to monitor the essential data. Um, nothing fancy. So how much horsepower is this capable of? Uh, well, this is a super common drag racing setup for the GM guys. So, I mean, I'm not doing any rocket science by putting this in this chassis, and these people are making, you know, 800 to 1,000 horsepower with this setup all the time. It's on seven pounds of boost and pretty soft timing right now, so it's it's a safe, safe drive, but, uh, you know, I'm not beating on it yet, and I don't plan to, so until it's, until it's ready to be ripped on with drag radials and a hot tune, we're just taking it easy for now. All right. You want to start it up? Yeah, yeah. Not the normal sound you would hear from one of these. Yeah, slightly upgraded exhausts. <laughs> if people ask me what I've done, I just tell them it's an upgraded exhaust. That's yeah. It. Alright, you wanna go take a ride? Yeah, you wanna you wanna hear a little noise? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Hike <laughs> work! Oh yeah. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Just leave the uh, 
we'll leave the grill off for best cooling action. Yes. There is a grill that goes there, don't worry. It goes full sleeper mode. You got butt warmers in here? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they work. I think that fuse popped. I was just going through all the fuses that have popped over the past two <laughs> years and I think that was one of them. <laughs> this is just my little app that I use to uh, monitor, monitor everything. the data. Yeah, the dash is the only thing that I haven't started working on yet and uh, I'm working with a company who says they can make the GM engine talk to the factory dash, which would be awesome. Really hoping that that comes to fruition. Considering how hot it is. Yeah, and twin turbo setups produce a lot of heat. For sure. Want to go over it here? Wherever. Wherever. Mike, turn around down here. You can go down there and turn around. It's loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it cruises pretty good down I-4. I mean like 90 miles an hour <laughs> no no bumping no vibration it was kind of a relieving feeling now that i'm almost done building it you know yeah because these never came with coilovers these are all air suspension vehicles so you know the coilover thing is uh is i think this is the only chassis they make the coilover swap for um, but it works great i'm happy with it to see a rip on some high boost. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of soggy now, but you know. I mean, you would never expect that. Yeah, it's uh it catch you off guard. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely go check out Nick's channel up there cuz he has a lot of info on this. And yeah, that's about it. Yep. And of course, you make intercoolers. Well, a lot of the EcoBoost guys will know who you are. Yep, yep, I do intercoolers for all the EcoBoost vehicles, and uh, I'll be doing a lot more of these as well. So the HSE, a um, couple other models that, that Range Rover and Land Rover made came with crappy engines. So I'm coming through and helping people who have uh, ornaments in their yard, basically. <laughs> nice. Well, definitely go head over to his channel. So make sure you slap the like button down below. If you wanna see more on this build, make sure you go check the link up there. And make sure you slap the like button down below, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we will see you guys next time.